Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are in Pro Cycling Manager 2018. Yes, it is that time of year and as a veteran of the series, I'm of course not passing on the uh, opportunity to play this one. And uh, of course, there are quite a few changes regarding the pro cycling uh, mode in this one, pro, pro cyclist mode rather. And we are going to investigate what those changes are. It looks like there's a lot more different options for progression of your cyclist in there. And I'm going to try it out. As always, let's first check what my settings are. We're going to play it on hard mode once again, but we're going to make it a little harder this time than last time. So, um, frequency of faults times two. Yes, this is a little bit more realistic, I feel. And also, let's see, um, everything else is just as it should be. So that's good. But let's get into the pro cyclist mode. We're going to use the uh, real name database and that was fortunately, it's currently release day. So um, that, that's good stuff that it is available that early. And of course, our rider. Well, the, the Baden-Württemberg, that, that, that is, that is heresy. No, 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 no. It must be Bavaria. Yes. Where is Dicky McSpeck coming from? Yes, Dicky McSpeck is back. You, you thought, you thought he died? No, okay, let me tell you the story. What happened? What happened? Well, you know, last um, last Let's Play, a massive series, massive series, super, super lots of fun. Uh, you need to check it out if you haven't already. And, well, he is the little fat kid, right? Dicky McSpeck uh, translates to Fatty McBacon. And he, oh, damn it. Can I just hold, yes, thank you. Thank you, I can just hold the button. This is very much needed for Dickie McSpeck. 99 kilos of awesomeness. And you guys really thought he won the tour and all the jerseys at that. Um, that only happens in a dream. And Dickie woke up this morning completely greasily covered in sweat. Uh, he's not quite sure if it was the curry or curry washed or not but um yeah completely covered in sweat and he had the most amazing dream he won a fucking tour de france yes but um D dicky dicky is back and he has a discovered a new technology we shall get to that so who's the blobbiest of them all uh let's see it's still the old ones he, he looks very blobby yeah let's let's take him i mean th this is just a uh, the the most amazing combination of awesome 168 long and 99 kilos although um after dicky had that dream he really thought about maybe losing some weight because that was kind of scary and uh as a new target for this year he has uh getting down to 98 kilograms so um, healthy you know and here we are new systems new systems and <laughs> If you're an avid watcher of this channel, you know what I requested as a feature. Exactly this. Well, not ex exactly this. Not the layout, but exactly the mechanics. So this is awesome. I don't know if um, they watched my stuff or someone... Uh, there, there were probably plenty of people who suggested something along these lines. But I'm very happy that it is implemented and it seems to be implemented pretty well. So. You can choose a main axis of talent, oh, well, talent, yeah, genetics, more or less, um, and that would be uh, anything of the known things we have in here. Stage races, climber, time trial, sprinter, puncher, northern classics, and bardeur. And then you can choose a secondary, and the secondary pushes it much less than the primary, but also lowers your stats a bit if those are conflicting specialties. So what we are going to do, and I'm coming back to the technology that Dicky uncovered. It is called the Ass Cushion 2000. The Ass Cushion 2000 helps riders across Northern Classics. It's basically currywashed fat um, in your butt cheeks. It's basically like a very, very nice suspension gel and uh, it works wonders. 
So yes, Vicky is becoming a Northern Classics guy. But he hasn't forgotten. He hasn't forgotten his high school bullying and he needs to train his punching. This is exactly what we wanted to do and now we can do it. Awesome. So what is this showing you? Well, this is showing you the current starting stats and as always you can uh, up the year or start young and that will give you a few extra stats or not. But this is the main axis without the specialty and then the yellow one is uh, so that you see how the stats are actually affected. And what I would like to see here in a future patch is that the ones that are negatively affected, like flat rating, because Northern Classics guy, if you just choose Northern Classics, Northern Classics, then uh, yeah, of course that stays the same. But if you switch over to Puncher, you're not quite as good in the flat. And not as good in, on the cobbles. Uh, previously, Puncher and Northern Classics were diametrically opposed. You could not have a decent cobble rider that also was a puncher. Um, not as a pro cyclist at all. So uh, you see that we are a lot better in mountain, plus five points there, a lot better in hill, plus four, five points there too. Acceleration, plus five points. And then a little worse in the other stats. Time trial isn't affected, that's great. Uh, stamina isn't affected because punchers and Northern Classics guys are all for the classics, so uh, they need a lot of stamina. Recovery is kind of shit, they're not tour riders. But, okay, not only are we going to ride on hard, but we are going to ride on just excellent potential. And that is because there is another new mechanic in here. That new mechanic is about progression. And if you are training for stats or long-term um, long -term, long -term potential. So... To make the best use of these new systems and show them off and make it interesting, I'm going to start out on the lowest possible potential. Not Grand Champion, that is just cruising mode, that is for wimps. And Dicky certainly is no wimp. He is about, about two whole wimps. And we are going to start out the youngest possible, so the lowest level. That gives us the most opportunity to actually um, push his potential in all the right ways and I hope this will be pretty awesome our goal for this let's play is to win all the uh, all the bigger classics uh, that are not super mountainous because that would be preposterous okay I think we're happy with this as cushion 2000 technology is activated 69 cobblestones and let's get started which team do you want to choose? Uh, they are Lodo. Team Lodo? Uh, not not a Continental Pro team, no. We start out in Continental. We, we take it easy. Because we're just too shit for this. Yeah, starting out young. It's a little harsh, I would say. But this one is looking good. They look slightly more competent than Team Lodo. And uh, we would still be Northern Classics guy number one and Puncher number one. Sounds good to me. All right, let's take Hello Matt. Yes, Rad, the Rad purple team. Ah, yes, a familiar screen. We need to determine our preseason, and uh, let, let's uh, let's do that. Season objectives. Oh, but well, that is. Oh, the youth race of Paris Roubaix. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Cushion 2000, here we come. Oh, awesome. But first, let's start out with high preseason setting. That doesn't take away any uh, tiredness, or doesn't give you any tiredness at the start. But it starts you out ready to uh, get a few experience points already in the first races. So very valuable. Let's see if we can't. Um, Find a race that is a bit more cobbled than some tours here. Oh, this one is interesting. And it's also an objective for the team. We won't be able to get that, but there seem to be two pretty harsh cobbled climbs in here. That is kind of what Dicky is for. Oh, the Kustpiel, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that That is looking like something for Dicky. Not too hilly, but slightly hilly. 
and some really, really big cobble sections for the ass cushion 2000. Okay, uh, I, I think I'm happy with these, especially looking forward to the mini Paris Roubaix, and let's sign this off. So now we just need to advance one day and then we can set up our training schedule. Yep, change the schedule, but first I want to show you something else. And that is, there's more data visible! Yes, uh, here. Ha! Huh, there you go, you no longer have... To oh, shit! Oh, man! Holy fuck! Oh, yes. Dicky, your ass cushion is amazing! <laughs> These stats are partially randomized, the potential. And uh, then there's a little variance around here so that you don't know exactly what, it, what is going on. But this is the highest I've seen. I've generated a few riders beforehand, just looked at their stats to see how this new system is working and how the combinations are working. And uh, the potentials usually are around uh, yeah, the, like the low 80s. So this certainly looks a little low compared to what I've seen before. This looks very high, even compared to Grand Champion levels. And, st oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, I think this is exactly what we wanted. Like, it is a little lacking in the time trial and prologue because some of the the cobbled tours actually have uh, some time trial uh, trials in there. So maybe something we can win. Um, Barodeur looking good. Resistance, that is one that is a little too low for my taste. But, like I said, with the level ups, and I think we might be seeing the first one today if we just speed through the first Cyanide Cups and get a bit of breakaway action going, then uh, we might see the new system in action. But first, I need to set up our early season schedule. So let me do that. Okay, now I've set it up somewhat reasonable for the early season. Uh, it's hard to, of course, stay at uh, good shape overall for all the races. But I think so far I've managed, and usually that is one of my, my stronger suits, it seems, to plan that out. Um, so this is how we're going to roll. Pretty decent performance potentially here, already at almost 90%. And now what remains to do is to take a look at the actual schedule and add races we want to partake in. We only have 25 points to spend and that means that I'm only going to try to plan for the early season because with every level up you get new points. Okay, I've nestled in the extra one which we needed. This one was our season goal, wasn't it? Yeah, and it wasn't in our, fit in our plans at all, in our schedule. Um, so I think this should do for the early season. We can, of ah, one thing in here. This schedule should have some information on where your um, rest weeks are planned so that you easily can uh, schedule for that. That's very important. So uh, that is uh, definitely a point I would wish uh, to change for, for the next iteration. But overall, I think we are doing pretty well. It will be mostly around the 93-ish percent mark. And then we have our main first race of the season at 95%. It's good enough. Let's see, can we... No, we can't. Can't make this any higher. Oh, there's still this bug in there. Come on, guys, fix it already. Look at that, 28%. No, it's not 28%. Uh, this seems to be fixed with the races now not overlapping, but the percentages here are still bugged. That has been with us for two, two iterations of the game now. So just to be sure, hey, actually this year the season starts on a Monday. Cool, that means the first week is, uh, this is easy. There's no overlap, like if uh, the week starts on Wednesday, then it goes to Wednesday, of course, or to Tuesday, and then the next week starts there. So uh, this time around, it will be easy to see. Um, Monday to Sunday is one week. I'm not going to do any planning for the second quarter of the season. That can be done in like two months time or something. And now, I think it's time to move into the first race. 
We cannot select any teammates for our main races yet. That is because we haven't reached level 11. Well, doesn't, doesn't really matter. They are so shit here anyway. <laughs> I don't think they are very helpful. Yeah, look, look at this. Let's play a game. The game is called Spot the Green Values. Um, it's a hard game in this team. Cyanide Cup number one. Ooh, very hilly. We do have a fitness uh, rating of 89, so we hope for a good race day condition, although we have a bias of minus one for the day. Shitty weather, I assume. So what does that tell me? It does tell me that most likely we want to... Uh, oh yeah, this is a slightly longer race. So why not try to escape and grab a few points that way? And with points, I mean experience. All right, here we go. Uh, rolled a minus one. That is that is not great. Not great for an escape. Oh, and these little hills. They are small biters. They are actually really harsh. Uh, Dicky will die on those, but there's a long way to go until we are there. And our stamina... Oh, 56. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, that won't last long. Uh, maybe we can get a few kilometers down the road with our breakaway. And what is the race strategy for the day? Uh, work at the head of the group for 20Ks. Uh, in case we are caught, we can do that. So I'm just going to set him on effort cursor and... Oh, come on, come on, Dickie. Come on, Dickie, punch through. Punch, punch through the bunch and get to the fucking front. Slowly but surely, he's trying. Okay, that, oh, he has the acceleration of a Dicky McSpeck. Uh, 67, actually, that's not too bad. So here we go, attack. Oh, someone's following me. That's great. Oh, he has a strong attack. Because he's a strong rider. So, for all those wondering, uh, that is a question that has come up so often, so I'm just going to tell it to you in the first episode. You can, if you hold down the Alt key and then move with your left mouse, you can zoom around like this and get a different perspective. And that is the one I usually get. And then if you still hold Alt and use your mouse wheel, you can zoom. So that is all good. That gives me my tactical overview, the one I like. And uh, basically means that I... I'm I'm not playing. Let me let me show you how everyone else is playing. It's like oh yeah, oh wow, oh wow, this is so so pretty, and I don't see shit, and I make terrible mistakes because of this. So no, this is not how you properly play like a hardcore player. Although it looks much nicer, I have to give it to you. So um, I'm going to have a little bit of an overview like this, and the game is going to be played like this. No, I don't um, don't switch it up. No. That I've never done so. Everyone else is playing the other way. If you don't like how I play it from this perspective, then uh, please watch uh, someone else. But I should probably explain why I'm doing that. That is, this game is a pure tactics game, in my opinion. And in a tactics game, you don't need pretties. I surely appreciate those pretties. It doesn't look, look like garbage. It's great. And we all have gone out and escaped. Yeah, that actually succeeded. Oh, how nice. Um, but, yeah, it's secondary. It's definitely secondary. I don't need the pretties. And in a long-running series like this, there are so many good players and OCD people that tactical mistakes are much worse to backseat gamers than um, it not looking quite as nice. So, we now have about two minutes on oh, no. someone... Are you fucking kidding me, you idiot? You're not supposed to attack from there. You already have one in front. Well, Tactics 101 failed. You're fired. Ah, now we have four people up front. How nice. But the peloton is not letting us drive away. Two minutes, 24. We're not getting anywhere. Oh, and now the peloton is really pushing it. 
It's trying to kill everyone. So in these situ- Oh, <laughs> the advantage is just melting. So we are riding up here at 85. And we're still losing massive amounts of time. Everyone in the behind is also dying right now. But we finally made it to the top. And I think this is just the AI trying to tire out people for the final climbs. Which makes sense. In these rainy conditions, it's actually pretty good to be up front. Not involved in all those falls. Yep, factor two falls, so there will be quite a few. No, and now they are attacking from the peloton towards our group. Some people are trying to join us. Oh yeah. There we go. Achievement! Achievement! We are baroudeurs! Now we need to conquer this fucking steep climb. 10%. It's far too much for the ass, uh, ass cushion 2000. Oh, that's the end of the breakaway already? No! No, please! Please, no! Oh, no, we're caught. Oh, big falls. Big falls. Ouch. Oh, we're like in the front group, but we have no chance we're going to hold this. Not in the final climbs. We don't have enough uh, stamina going here. Oh, rather the resistance. Our resistance bar is very empty and filling very slowly. Oh, they're riding hard. Uh, Dicky, hang in. Hang in there. Yes, yes, speed through, speed through. No, we're losing contact. Fuck. Oh, we're coming back. Go on, back to the first group. Oh, no, they are so, they are riding so hard. <laughs> I popped the spec bar because this is just not working out for us. I need to ride the rest of the stage at like 60. Oh, 18% climb? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, we're being overtaken by everyone. Although, our race leader is now with us. Oh, attack by Mass Bonnet! The traitor! Oh shit! No, no Dicky. Holy fuck, that was close. Almost a crash in the first race. That would have been bad. Come on Dicky, punch through, attack! Attack! Sprint, no! Okay, that was way too early. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, yeah, we are not winning this one. No, not, not even close. But uh, Dicky came 41st. Amazing. Amazing effort by the little currywurst. Uh, first race finished. And why didn't we get any bonus for uh, being in an, in an escape group? Maybe we did. No, it doesn't look like it. What the fuck? I mean, I, I played the uh, the game right before then and deleted that rider just to see uh, kind of the progression and stuff so that I don't talk shit. And there I got those. And I was just riding in the uh, breakaway for like 50 kilometers or something. I assume what happened there is that... Um, you can only trigger them once per game session, maybe? Those uh, kind of achievements for the rider, even though this is a new rider, that might be a, a bug. Because um, that's not what it's supposed to be. I think the, the first one is 50 kilometers, or 25 even, in a breakaway. And we definitely had that. We had 50 kilometers and probably 75. I don't know if that one is a, a level, a threshold you need to, to breach in order to get a few points. But those points are now missing. And maybe we can get them in the next race. And that would definitely be in the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys next time. <laughs>